Hey everybody, JK Calloway here, jumping back into The Handmaid's Tale. Episode two, season four, this one's called Nightshade. Hmm, nice. Sometimes you want to shade at night. It's a flower too, isn't it? A poisonous one? I don't know, we'll find out. But yeah, last episode, we kind of caught up pretty much right where season three left off. And they had a plan, apparently. So they had some defectors, if you will, or at least people that didn't completely agree with Gilead uh, waiting at a farm. They did make it there, and they're dressed as Martha's, just hiding out. Because even if, as they said, there might be drones sent by Gilead looking around for all these, these handmaids, but there's all kinds of farms, apparently, with all kinds of Martha's working on them, so it wouldn't be weird if they were just out doing stuff, doing chores and stuff, tending the field, whatnot. So it's a good hiding place for the time being until they start, you know, really searching, until they start going door to door, farm to farm, which you know they will, so. But June's still very much in recovery from her gunshot wounds. She's moving pretty slow. Uh, but seems like the misses of the house, the, the, the farm they're staying at, super young, 13, 14, 15 years old. Basically, it seemed like her husband isn't able to, you know, perform. And at first I thought it was because, oh, maybe he has a heart. No, it's because he's super old and just can't do it. So apparently he's just been having every man he can find do it for him, which is like, ugh. Like, so, you know, you know, child rape. But apparently they caught one of these guys who's, I don't, I don't really know what his deal was. They, like, he was spying? I, I don't, I'm not sure. He was on the property, he was a trespasser, but he was one of the people that had had sex with the underage wife. So, uh, yeah, they killed him real good. At least the wife did, which is like, that should be a policy. That should be a thing. But yeah, we'll jump back in and see what's next, what the game plan is. Uh, we haven't really seen Toronto at all other than Fred and Serena, and that was their jail cell. We haven't seen Luke or Moira or the baby or what all of them are up to, or June's old best friend, who I cannot remember the name of right now. Son of a bitch, Alexis Pladell's character. Anyway, we'll find out soon, hopefully. But yeah, let's jump back in and see what they got. Again, before we get going, make sure you do hit subscribe for me. I always appreciate that. Over 9,700 right now, close to 10K. Appreciate you, that's awesome. Really do appreciate the support. Check out Patreon if you wish, patreon.com forward slash JK Reacts. Full reactions for all the shows we do on YouTube, plus exclusive stuff, so there's lots of fun stuff all over both uh, YouTube and Patreon. So yeah, go check them out. You want to see more content. Some of my stupid commentary and, you know, his face. Anyway, Nightshade. I don't know, but we'll find out sooner or later. Ah, the best horror show ever made. I'm saying it. Love it. Where'd you get the knife? It was a pen. 
Do you have a safe house for us? Yeah. I'm Rose. It's the yellow farmhouse about 13 miles west of you, down Highway 44 in a stand of poplars. I saw some military commanders on the way in. Just fucking sitting ducks. Maybe they should do something. You really think that Mayday would liberate this place? We are Mayday. Were there any other instances of physical abuse? No. Really? Yes. Thank you. Looks like it didn't leave a permanent mark. Did yeah, it saying? did. Could I see him? Alone. I'm going to get Fred to drop the claim. Don't leave me here alone. Please. You do know what'll happen to her if you leave her. Should have seen that coming. Nightshade. Title of the episode. Come on, man. You've gotten rusty. You used to be so good at getting me to do what you want. Fred, please, I just want my daughter back. Nicole is not your daughter anymore than she is mine. I am as you made me. As you made us. As I have made us? They cut off her finger, dipshit, like... I made three different lunches and wouldn't need any of it. Chicken fingers, buttered noodles, pizza. Three! What kid doesn't like pizza? Mm. Kid who's never had it. I miss my Martha. And my room. And my mom and dad. Am I gonna see them again? No. It's natural for Asher to be angry. His name is James. Same as my brother. His actual father. Excuse me. I'll be alright. I need to stay here and take care of everyone, okay? I mean, the cottage cheese, by the way, because I'm awesome. I hate it. Asher. It's good protein. This is Rita. She's a friend. It's nasty. <laughs> you were on the plane. I was. That was a really scary night, wasn't it? Could you take this off my hands? Where's the kitchen? Oh, there. All right. Like, she clearly needs reacclimating as well, not only the kids, so. That's a good idea. That's really smart. I don't think I can do this. I do. Where are the ones we've been waiting for? She was just trying to get something to eat, ma'am. I told her to wait until dinner, but you know how they get. Nothing too fattening, little piggy. Yes, I want tea. And I'll take some tea. Wow! Give her all the tea. Can you do it now? It's up to you. You got this. I can just dump this out if you want. Let's fucking go. Look, I don't know what the legal requirements are, but I need to separate my interests from Fred. I am done with him. We can talk about that later. No, we can talk about it right now. Pregnant. What? The results from the blood test came back. Oh. Congratulations. Fuck. Which means Fred's fertile. Which also means... Nicole could be his. Something's wrong. Right. You should go now. I'm not leaving you. Nick. Where the ham is?
thankfully Nick was there, I guess. You know, they... Like, everything was dead silent, though. Like, I said, where are the handmaids as if he hasn't... He doesn't know. Do they have a hiding spot? I don't I like... I, not that I remember. Did they have, like, a cellar or something? I mean, hopefully they left. Hopefully, you know, they knew the plan as to where to go. That, that 13 miles west or whatever. Through the woods. Hopefully they already knew that. Um, and... You know the messes of the house. Well, I can't. I can't remember her name right now. Esther. Esther. Uh, hopefully she's leading them out of there. Yeah. Hopefully they're gone. Hopefully it's just June. But. Mm. But I mean, as you know, even if, not that they're gonna kill June. Obviously, at least not this episode. Maybe the finale. We'll see what happens. But you know. I mean, she certainly got hers earlier in the night. That's a whole lot of commanders getting getting kicked off. The immortal coil, if you will. So, hey, successful day. It was a good day, even with what just happened. And I like how they pretty much immediately, episode two, uh, showed that, you know, at least one kid it's not going to acclimate right away. They're not going to understand that Gilead was evil. They were doing atrocious shit all over the place because they were clearly not taught that or told that. You know what I mean? They were just, they had, in, a, in essence, a maid that helped them with everything and then parents that were once in a while there. You know? Usually it seemed like they were all going to have tea with each other and the, the men were all going to meetings all day long and it was basically that the Marthas taking care of everything at home and yeah like there were only what eight Marthas but it's not a bad idea to just have them maybe hop around and you know as long as they're on board with you know being okay with being out of Gilead you know be reacclimation project managers if you will for the kids Especially the older ones. I'm sure kids under, like, you know, three or four, they'll be fine. They'll just readapt and, like, okay, this is my new house. Cool. You know. But the older kids, like that kid that we saw, Asher, it's not going to be easy. It's all he's known. So I like that they showed that. I like that they showed not only the kid, but that that particular Martha, you know, misses home. You know, this is like, hey, I actually do believe in this shit. I am a zealot. <laughs> so, you know, it's not going to be a switch you can turn off. It'll take time. And she, real, she you know, at least she realizes, yeah, I don't want to go back there. It's horrendous. But it's what I know. It's actually kind of what I believe. So it's going to take time. And that would be a good way to reacclimate the Marthas too. You know, have them help out around some of the new houses that the kids are in. That's not a bad idea. It's actually really smart. But, uh, bigger thing, obviously, June. We'll see what's up with that. You know, is she gonna go back to Aunt Lydia? Mm, fuck, fuck, fuck. Thank you guys for watching. Leave comments. Let me know what you thought of the episode and where it's going from here. But we'll jump into episode three here uh, right now, momentarily. We'll watch it immediately. I'll get them up as fast as I can. I apologize that this, this is showing on Friday on YouTube, but I'll do my best to get them out on Thursday or even Wednesday. We'll see. But it's going to be tough. <laughs> Three episodes back to back. Oh, man. I missed it. I missed the show, and it's kicking off well. It's kicking off very nicely. Horrifyingly, but well. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. We'll talk to you next time.